today. For the price of a decent car, you can pre-order a walking, talking, thinking machine that will fundamentally alter what it means to be human in your own home. The future just became the present, and most people have no idea what's about to hit them. The day everything changed. Something extraordinary happened recently that barely made headlines, yet it represents the single most transformative moment in human domestic life since we invented electricity. A Norwegian company called 1X, backed by OpenAI, just opened pre-orders for NEO, a humanoid robot designed specifically for your living room. $20,000. Delivery in 2026. The robot revolution isn't approaching anymore. It's standing at your front door, asking politely if it can come in and fold your laundry. Think about the magnitude of this moment. For decades, we've watched science fiction promise us robot companions, robot helpers, robot friends. Every movie, every book, every childhood dream about the future included machines that looked like us, moved like us, and worked alongside us. Today, that fantasy crossed into reality with a simple pre-order button. While Tesla keeps promising their Optimus robot and other companies tinker endlessly in laboratories, 1X said something revolutionary. We're shipping this thing to your house. NEO stands roughly human height and uses artificial intelligence to understand your space, your needs, your daily routines. It's designed to handle real household chores safely, speak naturally, and think of problems the way humans do. This isn't some clunky industrial machine retrofitted for homes. This is the first true bridge between digital intelligence and the physical world, built from the ground up to live with families. The three modes that change everything. What makes NEO genuinely revolutionary isn't just that it exists, but how it's designed to integrate into human life through three distinct operational modes that solve real problems instead of just showing off technical capabilities. First comes chores mode, and this is where dreams become reality. You tell NEO what needs doing around your house. Water the plants every Tuesday. Tidy the living room before guests arrive. Load the dishwasher after dinner. You schedule when you want tasks completed, and NEO handles everything while you're out living your actual life. Imagine coming home every day to a clean house, organized space, and completed to-do list. The robot literally gives you your time back, hour by precious hour. The control system feels like something from a movie. When you're away from home, you can open the NEO app and see exactly what your robot is doing through its own eyes. Point of view perspective, real-time video feed. You're at work wondering if NEO finished organizing your closet? Pull up the app, check the feed, watch your robot work. You control everything from your phone. Schedule chores, monitor progress, adjust settings, even talk to NEO remotely. It's like having a pet camera, except your pet is folding laundry and organizing your pantry with human-level intelligence. Second mode pushes into fascinating territory. AI companion, NEO, isn't stuck in your phone or laptop like every other artificial intelligence assistant. It lives with you, physically present in your space. It can see your environment, hear what's happening, remember context about your daily routines, and respond to situations as they develop. NEO can identify spices in your kitchen, explain the differences between them, and give you cooking advice based on what ingredients you actually have available. Is this paprika? No, that's cayenne pepper. Also, your glasses are on your shirt. Could I use this in my chili? They're both made from chili peppers, and you could put cayenne in your chili, but it is much spicier. But here's the part that most people don't know about yet, and it's either brilliant or slightly terrifying, depending on your perspective. There's a third mode called Expert Mode. If NEO hasn't learned how to do a specific task autonomously, you can request an expert from 1X to supervise the session remotely and provide corrective guidance. Think of it like robot training wheels, except the training wheels are an actual human making sure your $20,000 investment doesn't accidentally break your favorite lamp or flood your kitchen. The setup that changes everything. The whole experience is designed to be stupidly simple, which is exactly what consumer robotics needed to break into mainstream adoption. You turn on NEO, introduce yourself, and boom, you're done. Hey, I'm NEO. I'm here to help around the house. What's your name? Harry. Nice to meet you, Harry. When you have a question or want something done, just let me know. That's the entire setup process. No complicated programming, no technical manuals, no engineering degree required. Just natural conversation between human and machine. Safety obsessed the designers at 1X, and for good reason. 
Previous attempts at household robotics failed partly because people felt uncomfortable with heavy, intimidating machines moving through their personal spaces. NEO weighs just 66 pounds. Its body is driven by tendons rather than traditional gears, which makes it move quietly and smoothly like a human instead of clunking around like a factory machine. If NEO falls, it's not going to crush you or your furniture. It can carry up to 55 pounds, which is impressive for household tasks, but it's not superhuman strength that might cause accidents. The Wall Street Journal tried to get NEO to crush a walnut during testing. It couldn't. NEO's finger strength is calibrated to match human capabilities. This isn't a killer robot from science fiction movies. It's a helper that moves like we do, gentle and energy efficient, designed to coexist safely in spaces where children play and families gather. Design choices that matter. Here's where One X made really smart design choices for human comfort. Every NEO comes with a machine washable knit suit, a hood, and shoes you can customize to match your home style. You get three color options. Why does a robot need clothes? Part safety, part psychology. That soft exterior makes NEO feel less intimidating and more like a household companion rather than an industrial machine. It's basically a safety skin that also looks good in your living room. Burnt from 1X explained the reasoning perfectly. If it was actual skin, that would be creepy. The knit suit solves that problem while making NEO safer to bump into. The shoes are a nice touch too. You can swap them out, match your decor, make NEO blend in, or stand out according to your preferences. And when the suit gets dirty from doing all your chores, you just throw it in the washing machine. It's weirdly practical for a humanoid robot, showing how much thought went into real-world usability. The reality check nobody wants to hear. Now let me hit you with some real talk about what NEO actually represents right now. The NEO shipping in 2026 will be more advanced than current prototypes, better hand dexterity, improved safety features, longer battery life. The current version sometimes needs brakes to charge and cool down. In Wall Street Journal demonstrations, NEO took over a minute to grab a water bottle from a refrigerator 10 feet away. Loading three items into the dishwasher took five minutes. That sounds slow, but remember, this is year one of consumer humanoid robots. Your first smartphone was slow too. Your first computer took minutes to boot up. Your first internet connection crawled at speeds that seem laughable today. Revolutionary technology always starts imperfect and rapidly improves through real-world usage and iterative development. Here's the part that'll make some people uncomfortable, and it's important to address honestly. Not everything NEO does in 2026 will be fully autonomous. Some tasks will require teleoperation, which means a human operator at 1X remotely controls NEO through VR goggles and advanced control systems. You schedule the session through the app. An operator connects. NEO does the work while you watch it happen in real time. The operator can't see you because 1X blurs people in the video feed for privacy. They can't access rooms you mark as no-go zones. They can't connect without your explicit approval. But yes, someone might be watching through your robot's eyes while it cleans your kitchen or organizes your bedroom. Is that weird? Absolutely. Is it necessary? According to 1X, yes. And here's why. The Learning Revolution NEO's artificial intelligence brain learns from real-world experience. Every time a human operator guides NEO through a complex task, that becomes training data. The AI model gets smarter, more capable, more autonomous. Eventually, NEO becomes fully autonomous for most household tasks. But in 2026, you're not just buying a robot, you're helping train the robot. You're part of the data pipeline that makes future versions better for everyone. That's the social contract. If you're not okay with occasional remote operation, don't buy NEO. Burnt called it the Big Sister Principle. Big Sister helps you accomplish things. Big Brother just monitors you. 1X wants to be the helpful sister, and you decide how much access you're comfortable trading for usefulness. Want maximum autonomy? NEO will handle basics on its own. Want advanced help with complex tasks? Let operators jump in when needed. You control the scale. The robot runs on Redwood AI which is 1X's neural network designed specifically for household autonomy. Out of the box, NEO can handle basic tasks. Walking to you when called, grabbing objects, moving them to another location, putting things away where they belong. As you use NEO and provide more data through daily interactions, software updates will increase task complexity. 
finding your keys and wallet, running full laundry cycles, opening doors, preparing simple meals. The goal is full autonomy, where NEO becomes capable of helping with anything around your house without human intervention. This is where 1X separates from competitors like Tesla and Figure. They're not waiting for perfect autonomy before shipping. They're shipping now with a hybrid model, partial autonomy, optional teleoperation, and continuous learning. It's not perfect. Burnt admits the journey won't be smooth, but for people who've dreamed of robot helpers since watching the Jetsons, this is the closest we've ever gotten to that future. The competition heats up. But 1X isn't alone in this race. Unitree Robotics just dropped their H2 robot, and it's turning heads for all the right and wrong reasons. This full-size humanoid packs 31 motorized joints that can dance, perform martial arts, and handle delicate factory work with optional, dexterous hands. It's their most advanced robot yet, trading the H1's record-breaking sprint speed for serious manipulation skills and flexibility. The H2 has this smooth, stylized, human-like face that's either going to fascinate you or freak you out. Some people are calling it uncanny valley territory, like those silver androids from science fiction movies. Unitree dressed this machine up in actual clothing for demonstration videos, and suddenly, we're not looking at a robot anymore. We're looking at something that could pass you in a hallway and make you do a double take. This machine moves with 31 motorized joints, which is a staggering 19% increase from their previous model. What does that mean practically? It means this robot moves with flexibility and smoothness that'll blow your mind. Demonstrations show it performing coordinated dance routines and martial arts moves that would make professional performers jealous. Pirouettes, high kicks, complex choreography, the agility and stability improvements are absolutely mind-blowing. The technical revolution. Each H2 leg has six degrees of freedom. Each arm has seven degrees of freedom. That's a massive jump from previous models. Translation, the H2 can move its limbs in ways that are seriously human-like. It's got a three degree of freedom waist that lets it twist and bend like a gymnast. The engineers followed something called a flexion abduction rotation hip configuration, which basically means the robot can do all those fluid dance moves and martial arts demonstrations you see in promotional videos. The H2 made an interesting trade-off. Previous models could sprint at impressive speeds, but the H2 sacrificed raw speed for something arguably more valuable, dexterity and strength. Each H2 arm can carry 7 kilograms normally and handle up to 21 kilograms briefly. And the H2 can wear optional dexterous robotic hands called the Dex 5-1 that let it grip and manipulate objects with scary precision. It can fold clothes without damaging fabric, weave wires into panels with arms stretching to full length while the spine twists into awkward angles that would challenge human flexibility. The future arrives now. Make no mistake, this is history happening in real time. Physical artificial intelligence entering our homes. Robots designed to work alongside humans in domestic spaces. The era of wondering, when will robots help with household chores, is over. The era of deciding, do I want a robot helper, has begun. 1X just made the future available for pre-order. $20,000, delivery in 2026. The robot revolution isn't coming anymore. It's here, knocking on your door asking if you need help with the dishes. The only question remaining is whether you're ready to answer. The future of human domestic life just changed forever. The machines aren't taking over. They're moving in as roommates. And honestly, that might be the most extraordinary transformation of all.